Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at SMT AI in Chicago, and I'm joined by Brian Smith and Jeff Timms of ASM Assembly Systems. Guys, first time interviewing you both together, so that's really, that's really good. First time we've really discussed the topic just here in America, and I'm kind of curious what the customers have been saying. You know, you've had a couple of days here at the trade show. What have people been asking? What have the inquiries been like? Let's start with you, Brian, maybe on that. Yeah, so from the deck standpoint, I think it's, we're in a better situation today than C-Place was in three and a half years ago when they uh -huh. got bought and everybody said, who is ASM? Uh -huh. People know who ASM is because C-Place has done a great job in the market, growing their market share, developing you know, market-leading equipment for the last several years. So we have a little bit easier road to hoe than they mm. do. Yeah. Uh, they come by and they look at the sign and they say, is this still DEC or what is the name of your company? And yeah. We just explained to them, we're sister companies with C-Place now, and uh, yeah. there are all the great reasons for it and how it's working out so far. So, so okay. far, so good. Okay, and from your point of view, Jeff? Y you know, uh, Phil, the, the uh, larger customers that we have, and, and, and we're, we play with pretty much all of them at one level or another, um, <clears throat> seem to be very pleased that this was a real strategic acquisition and not just one to flip the company and make mm -hmm. money on it. Yeah. And uh, there is quite a bit of that going on in the industry, and it's, uh, it's kind of a shame to see. This was a strategic acquisition. It was done to strengthen the company and both companies and, and provide a unique value set to our customers. So yeah. very pleased with how uh, that's being received. And in fact, I uh, uh, was just at a, uh, a very large uh, contract manu manufacturer about a week ago. And uh, if they said it once, they said it uh, half a dozen times, uh, how pleased they were that uh, DEC has become a part of ASM mm. because of what they've seen happen with, with the C-Place group in the last yeah. year. Yeah, and I think the C-Place example, as you say, Brian, is great because there was certainly a lot of talk of how things wouldn't change, and as someone watching the industry, our, our natural instinct was, uh-huh, let's wait and see, and and it, it played out pretty much the way Gunter said it would play out. So. So that was that was um, that was good news for everybody in the marketplace. So I think there's there's positive aspects there. What are people's expectations? Do you think? I mean, I think there's a natural expectation to think, well, these machines are going to connect up better. There's going to be perhaps some more intelligence around the around the process. There's going to be maybe some filling in of gaps. I know you can't talk about stuff that's commercially sensitive, but there must be a whole bunch of engineers working hard in the background, figuring out what to do next. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of collaboration that's already started. Um, between printing and placement, obviously there's another piece of equipment that most often goes in between mm -hmm. the two in terms of SPI, uh, but, but across those three pieces of equipment, we can see a lot of opportunity for collaboration, software-driven, uh, improving the process. Uh, from our standpoint, we see a real opportunity in connecting all three of those things together at some point. But in reality, right now, the team's already working very closely on finding the best ways to, to make the two machines talk together and, and, and make the line more intelligent. Yeah, and certainly in Germany, we hear a huge amount about Industry 4.0, this intelligence thing. The Cisco presentation yesterday kind of shifted the debate from the Internet of Things to the Internet of Everything. I'm not quite sure what the difference is. We've been talking a little bit about the Internet of Manufacturing as a, as a kind of a, a model to move this forward, the ability to communicate. Is that something customers are really becoming more sensitive to? And with these two, these two brand-leading equipment manufacturers under one, under one name, do they see that as something that you can offer? I definitely do, Phil. Uh, if you look at if you look at where the where the market's going in the Americas, there has been a, a bit of a resurgence in manufacturing, mm -hmm. but it's not because of cheap labor; it's because of increased automation. Yeah. And and as the automation level continues to go up and continues to increase, uh, uh, it it uh, it plays very well into the collaborative uh, 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 work that's being done between the deck group and the C place group. Yeah. And if you think about the, if you think about the horsepower of ASM in general. Uh, ASM is, I believe, at this point, the world's largest uh, capital equipment provider in the electronics industry. And uh, what that gives us is access to over 900 R&D engineers mm -hmm. to do a variety of different things that our competitors simply cannot address at this point. Yeah. So, so as, as uh, I look at the history, short history that we've had with the ASM group worldwide, uh, the, 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 the speed at which new products are introduced to the market, the level of automation that's there, the integration of, of products, 
the, the intelligence of products through software and, mm. and, and communication between equipment sets, et cetera, uh, staggering. Yeah. And uh, it, it's an exciting future. Yeah, absolutely. And just quickly, congratulations last night. I see you picked up another award for DEC. We're always seeing DEC and, uh, and these guys pick up an award, but you got it this time. You beat them to it. So I saw them sitting in the in the audience enviously. That was nice to see. Yeah. Um, that was for the Gemini product, which is largely for the Asian market, I, I gather. It was, yeah. And thanks for the uh, congratulations. Appreciate that. You know, DEC's got a really proud history of winning innovation mm. awards and uh, I don't suspect that'll change as we move forward with our new corporate owner. Yeah. Uh, the Gemini product is a fantastic new system. It's a back-to-back -back dual lane system. It's what our high volume customers are looking for. Uh, as I've mentioned previously, uh, the, the, the Gemini system has a very limited customer set in terms of it's got to be the people that are running absolutely the highest volume. Mm. And from our standpoint, there's a market for it in places like Mexico, in Brazil, and China as well. Yeah. So those are probably yeah. the main places where we would yeah. be promoting the Gemini yeah. at this stage. And you mentioned Mexico there. Mexico is doing pretty well. Everybody we're talking to is, is feeling really positive about that. When you combine your footprint down there, does that give you more horsepower in that region as well, Jeff? I, I think it does. Uh, Mexico is a little different market than, than the rest of North America. Um, uh, if I look at my customer base in Mexico, uh, it's a smaller number of customers, but they're very large customers. Mm. So. So uh, Mexico has actually just become my largest market in North and South America. Yeah. So, so uh, following very closely behind that is, is North America. But if I look at the demographics, I have far more customers in North America that are in, in the U.S. than I do in Mexico. Yeah. But they're much, much bigger in Mexico. Yeah. 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 So. Okay. And one of Gunter's phrases that I'm constant, constantly hearing is this together number one, Absolutely. becoming number one. Where are you guys as, a, as an overall organization now in the North American market, the Mexican market, the Americas generally? Uh, depending on the quarter, we're vacillating back and forth between number one and number two. Okay, okay. So, so number one's where you want to be. Yes. Pretty much the same case with DEC? Well, I think, I think we've been a solid number one in the, in the Americas market for yeah. the last few years here. Yeah. We, we had a market share growth between 2011 and 2012, and I don't think we've relinquished the top share uh, since then, so okay. we're in okay. really great shape from that, from that okay. standpoint. So two great teams coming together and a good future. That's right, yeah. Thanks guys, Thank all you. the best for the rest of the event. Thank, Thank you. you.